Now, of course, we would like to have an expression for uh, something like this and that we can get by solving this. We will do this in many different ways. I know that this is very simple and many of you probably already know the solution, but uh, we will use this so often that it should become automatic. If you look at a circuit, you should be able to tell what is going on and why it is that way and so on. Okay. So, that is why we will spend a lot more time on this than we would in uh, mathematics class on a first order differential equation. Okay. By the way, this uh, kind of thing is known as a, this is a first order differential equation. Why is it called first order? Because differential equation is nothing but on the left hand side you have the variable itself we see in this case and derivatives of the variable and you can have higher and higher order derivatives. So, the order is defined by the highest order derivative that is there on the left hand side. On the right hand side you group all the constants which are sort of inputs to the system. Okay. And this one which has uh, 0 on the right hand side, what is this? It is called a homogeneous differential equation. Okay. So, in general if uh, you have only variables and 0 on the right hand side that is called a homogeneous equation. right? So, if I rearrange this now, I get Okay. Okay. So, now we have this uh, expression which says that the derivative of some variable v c is some constant minus 1 by r c times the same variable. Okay. Now, this is a kind of uh, differential equation you could have solved maybe 5 minutes after learning about differentiation because you are given the table of different derivatives and you see hey, which is the same on the left and right side on the table that is the solution. Right. What is that? This is usually the form in which it is put. So, what is the solution to this? Y equals exponential alpha y, sorry, alpha y, yeah. What is it? Exponential of alpha x, okay. So, the derivative of an exponential is an exponential, okay. That is actually a very significant thing. So, the solution to this as all of you easily guessed uh, is now there has to be some constant here right. This is of the form of exponential minus t by r c, but there will be some constant because if you multiply if you scale vc by any number that is also a solution right. This is by the way this kind of uh, I forgot to mention that particular uh, term. So, this is not just a first order differential equation this is a first order linear differential equation okay because we have Vc and the derivatives of Vc, but we do not have squares of Vc or squares of the derivatives etcetera etcetera. Okay. So, this also means that because it is a linear differential equation, if you have a particular solution Vc of t, then some k times Vc of t is also a solution, right? Because all of these terms will get multiplied by the same k. Okay. So, Vc will be of the form. Uh, we see not exponential minus t by r c and so if I take my example of r c with an initial voltage of 5 volts. Okay. And in general this is always true because you are solving for linear differential equations when you solve for a homogeneous linear differential equation, the result you can get it, but it will be ambiguous by some factor, okay, because you multiply the solution by the any factor that is also a solution, okay. So, how do you tell what this factor is? So, that is done based on the initial condition. So, you should be given initial conditions when you solve for a differential equation 
and based on the initial condition you can find these constants. Now, in case of a first order differential equation you will have one such constant, if you have a second order differential equation two such constants and so on. Okay. So, the number of initial conditions has to be equal to the order of the differential equation. Okay. So, in this case it is very obvious what is the value of V c 0? So, in general you will find it by substituting some suitable value of t for which you already know the solution. In this case you know that for t equal to 0 the solution is 5 volts. Okay. So, that means that V c 0 is 5 volts. Okay. This you get from the value of t equal to 0. So, you start with 5 volts and does that. Okay. This curve is 5 volts exponential minus t by rc okay and this is vc of t now before uh, i didn't want to just solve for this and plot it because uh, sometimes then you can lose the feel for why it is the way, way it is we earlier solved it sort of graphically we have 5 volts and minus 5 volts by r through the capacitor and that will reduce the voltage as the voltage reduces the current reduces so the rate of change keeps on falling okay so, this business of uh, the rate of change being proportional to the function itself that is what gives you an exponential. Okay. In this case the rate of change is proportional, but with a negative sign. So, that is why what happens is it starts falling and then the rate of falling becomes shallower and shallower until finally, it reaches 0, but only at t equal to infinity. Okay. That is known as asymptotically reaching some value that is it would not reach that 0 value for any finite value of t, but only for t equal to infinity. Okay. So, you should know both these like how to solve for this is after all a very simple equation at the same time why it comes out the way it is that you know from the circuit that the current in the capacitor keeps on falling. Okay. Now, what is the initial slope of this? What is dvc by dt? minus Vc naught by Rc exponential minus T by Rc. Okay. So, again if you look at the value of T equal to 0 it is Vc naught by Rc right that we could tell also by just looking at the circuit because we have 5 volts across the capacitor which is also across the resistor. Okay. So, the current is 5 volts by R and the rate of change of voltage is I by C okay, which is 5 volts by Rc that is the rate of fall and then that keeps on reducing that is fine. Okay. And this quantity R c here like we will see later that we will do more calculations of this circuit and that thing appears all over the place. Okay. So, this exponential will have minus t by some quantity that has dimensions of time. Okay. So, this is known as the time constant okay. and that comes about because when you write the homogeneous differential equation like this the coefficient is over there. Okay. You have minus 1 by rc that is what makes this rc going to this exponential. right? So, that is a characteristic of the solution to this differential equation that is the time constant and it is very common to hear the terms like R c time constant of a circuit. So, this is what it is. Okay. So, it influences the rate at which this falls. What happens if this time constant is very large? What happens to this curve? Will it fall quickly or slowly? Slowly, right. So, because if let us say R is very large, I mean the time constant could be very large by uh, the R being very large or C being very large. If R is very large, what it means is that the current is very small. Okay, initially for the same 5 volts, the current is much smaller. So that means that it will discharge the capacitor lesser. After all, what is happening? Initially, you have some charge across the capacitor that is leaking through this R, and then goes all the way to zero. Now, if uh, the resistance is very large, then it means that very little charge is taken out per unit time, so it discharges very slowly. Alternatively, the time constant can be very large by the capacitor being very large. So, that means that it has so much charge that if you take a certain amount of current out of it, the, the reduction in voltage is much smaller. Okay. So, these are all just intuitive explanations for what uh, comes out algebraically very easily. Okay. And there are, it is also quite important to realize uh, these things intuitively. 
So this is a circuit with a long time constant and it could have a very short RC and then it will do something like that and this is a circuit with a very short time constant and depending on the application you may want a long or short time constant. Okay.